Hello everyone, welcome back to FED Learning. In today's session, we will explore upgrading an Angular application to the latest version. For that, I have built a project in Angular 16 and now I will be migrating it to Angular 18. So let's go through the steps one by one. I will go to the browser and open the site angular.d and here I will search update guide and here I will choose the version 16 because I want to migrate angular project from version 16 to version 18. So once we choose the version from this drop down you can see we are getting one warning you can't run ng update to update angular applications more than one major version at a time. It means first we need to migrate angular 16 project into angular 17 and then we can migrate from 17 to 18. Okay and here we will see the comparison. What is the difference between angular 16 and angular 17 or 18? Here let me add pointer. So the main difference between Angular 16 and 17 is till Angular 16 we used to work on module based template but from Angular 17 by default Angular will create a standalone template instead of module based template. So you may have one doubt if we have created one Angular application in version 17 or 18 you can see the default template is a standalone template but in Angular 16 you have a module based template only. But while migrating the same Angular application from version 16 to version 17 or 18, whether it is going to affect anything? No, it will not affect anything because Angular introduced the standalone template from Angular 17. At the same time, they are providing the support for module based template as well. It means after migrating your Angular project from version 16 to version 18, the code should run as expected. Okay, so next we will see which Node.js version required for Angular 16, 17 or 18. Because we need to make sure that we are using a supported version of Node.js before you migrate your application. Here you can see Angular 16 supports Node.js version greater than 16.14.0. And Angular 18 supports the Node.js version greater than 18.19.1. Also, I will open browser and here we can see the Node.js version compatibility. Here you can see actively supported versions. So, for Angular 16, supports the Node.js version greater than 16.14.0. Similarly, for Angular 17, it supports the Node.js version greater than 18.13.0. And for Angular 18, it supports the Node.js version greater than 18.19.1. So for that, I have installed the latest version of Node.js in my system that is 20 that we will see once we start the Angular project migration from Angular 16 to Angular 17. Okay. So next we will see steps to migrate Angular application or steps to update your Angular application. So the first step is update Node.js and NPM. As mentioned earlier, before we can migrate Angular application, you need to ensure that your Node.js and NPM versions are compatible with Angular 17 or 18. You can update Node.js by downloading the latest version from the official Node.js website. And for NPM, you don't need to install NPM separately as it's automatically included with the Node.js installation. And you can check the version of Node.js with node space hyphen v and you can check NPM version with NPM space hyphen v. So this is our first step. So I am going to skip this step while migrating my Angular 16 application to Angular 18 because I have installed the latest version of Node.js and this is supported to Angular 16, 17 or 18. Now the next step is to update your Angular CLI. You can do this by running the command npm install hyphen g at the rate angular slash CLI at the rate latest. 
this command will update your global angular cli to the latest version and you can check the version of angular with command ng space version and the last and third step is update angular packages now you can update the angular packages in your project by running command ng update at the rate angular slash core at the rate latest or at the rate the version which you want to migrate so this command will update all the angular packages in your project to their latest versions now next we will see command to update angular cli so for angular 17 we need to run command npm install hyphen g at the rate angular slash cli at the rate 17 and similarly for angular 18 we will use same command instead of 17 we need to write at the rate 18 that's it so next we will see the command for update angular package for angular 17 we will run command ng update at the rate angular slash core at the rate 17 space at the rate angular slash cli at the rate 17 for angular 17 we need to mention at the rate 17 and similarly for angular 18 we will run same command instead of 17 we need to write 18 for core as well as cli okay and one more thing also you can run the command ng update to check the migration status if any dependencies are pending it will provide the command to upgrade them so thank you for your time now let's dive into visual studio code and continue from there okay so i am inside visual studio code here you can see one angular project which i have created in version 16 you can see inside package.json file the version of this project is angular 16 so i have created this project while learning at the rate input and at the rate output functionality so i'll run this code with ngs command compile successfully now i'll open browser with localhost 4200 so here you can see I have implemented the communication between parent and child component. For example, here if I send anything to child, hi child, the message is going to child component. And once I send a reply from child component, hello parent, then you can see this reply will go from child component to parent component. Here you can see the reply, hello parent. So we are going to migrate the same application from 16 to 17 first and then 17 to 18. Okay. So for that, I'll open the CMD. Before that, we will see the latest version of Angular which I have installed in my system with command ng version. So you can see the current version of Angular CLI is 16.2.14 and also the Node.js version is 20.16.0. So the first step is to migrate our application from 16 to 17. So we have to install Angular 17 in our system. So for that I will hit command npm install hyphen g at the rate angular slash cli at the rate 17. So with the help of this command we can install Angular 17. I will check the version. So now you can see current angular version is 17.3.8. So this is our first step. So the second step is I will open CMD with our project path. I will increase the font. Now the second step is to hit the command to update the angular version. And the command is ng update at the rate angular slash first will add core at the rate 17 space at the rate angular slash cli at 17 so we will update angular slash code as well as angular slash cli hit enter yeah. installing packages now it will take few seconds depends on your internet speed packages successfully installed now you can see the version will change from 16 to 17. See all the dependencies has changed to 17. Now it, it will update your package.json file, package log.json file 
as well as angular.json file. Now you can see migration completed. Here inside source control, you can see the file angular.json has updated package log.json and package.json file. So we have migrated it to Angular 17. So now I will rerun this project again with ngs and we will see the functionality is still working or not. Compile successfully. Now open browser and refresh the browser. Here I will send money to child. So I will send 1000 to child and you can see money from parent is 1000. And here send message to parent. Thanks for money. So once I click on send message, the message sends to parent component. So functionality is also working as expected. It means we have successfully migrated our Angular 16 application to Angular 17. So now next we need to migrate our application from 17 to 18. So for that again the first step is to install Angular 18 in your system. So I will hit command to install angular 18 is npm install hyphen g at the rate angular slash cli at the rate 18 or you can mention at the rate latest because 18 is the latest version of angular. Yes, now I will check the version and you can see we have successfully installed angular cli version 18.2.1. So this is our first step. So now the second step is we need to hit the command to update our project from 17 to 18. So for that I need to write command ng update at the rate angular slash core at the rate now this time it is 18 space at the rate angular slash cli at the rate 18 because now we are migrating from 17 to 18. Hit enter. Okay, error. Repository is not clean. Please commit or stash any changes before updating. So we need to make sure about repository. We need to clean the repository before migrating any Angular application. So quickly I'll push the changes to GitHub. Git add hyphen A. Now git commit hyphen M Angular 70 changes okay and the last command is git push okay so i have pushed all changes into my github repo now i'll rerun the same command for update here i'll clear the cmd first and now we will hit the same command again ng update at the rate angular slash core at the rate 18 space at the rate angular slash cli at the rate 8 and hit enter. The package is installed successfully. And one more thing here if you have installed Angular material in your previous version of Angular, then you have to update that Angular material with command ng update at the rate angular slash material at the rate 18. So similarly, if you want to migrate the CDK version, then you can use command ng update at the rate angular slash CDK at the rate 18. And once you hit ng update command, then you will get all the commands which you need to upgrade for your angular application. Okay. I hit enter. Okay. You can see the message migration completed. So I'll minimize this CMD and here also we can see our project is completely migrated from 16 to 18 now. So I'll again rerun this application with ng serve command. Okay, now it is running on 6283. So I'll open another browser with this new local host 62839 or else we can stop the previous compilation and we will start from here only. So here I'll stop control C and now here I'll rerun the application with ng serve. Now we can open the browser on same localhost 4000. Okay. So here you can see no change on UI. We will see the functionality. Is it working as expected or not? So now this time I'll send 
the 50,000 money to child, you can see money from parents is 50,000, which we have just sent from parent component. And the message from child to parent is thanks and received 50k. Once I send the message, you can see message from child, thanks and received 50k. So the UI is also same as well as the functionality is also working as expected. So as I already mentioned, the Angular 16 is a module based template, but Angular 18 is a standalone template. So here I'll create one new component with command ng generate component test component. Okay. So here you can see the test component will generate with standalone feature. Now we will see inside the TS file of test component. Okay. So here. You can see inside add the rate component decorator, there is the feature standalone proof. Because from Angular 17, by default, Angular will create standalone template instead of module based template. Okay, so we have successfully migrated our Angular 16 application into Angular 18. And also we have tested UI as well as functionality is it is working as expected and also we have created new component inside angular 18 and this newly created component by default created with standalone feature. So hope you understand how to migrate angular 16 application into angular 18. Still if you have any doubt please leave them in the comments below. So that's it for this video. If you find this information useful, then please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.